Okay, it's day 21 of this ginger germination experiment. So as you can see, I've deployed the plastic wrap one more time. And now since the ginger rhizome cuttings are not protruding, the buds aren't protruding, I won't have any being chronically soaked in water due to condensation from the film. So there's still not that much to look at here. Uh, I don't think I need to zoom in on every single one every single day. But uh, you can see this thing works really well. The sun hasn't hit here yet. And right now it's about 1420 California time. And basically I expect this to generate a lot more condensation as the plant spa does its work. And the sun heats up this pot. So what I did right now is I used packaging tape to secure this saran wrap onto the pot surface. And it's taut at two ends. But that will prevent it from dipping down from the weight of the condensation and touching the ground or certain buds. Okay, it's day 22 of the ginger germination experiment. So I'm shaking this and as you can see there's still some water down there. It's not much which means I'll have to water again soon. So the fact that so much water evaporated is kind of a surprise since not much can get away here. Um, you can see condensation all over this plastic wrap. That's a lot of water on the wrap right there. So maybe there's just evaporation through this hole, the lip in the bottom tray itself, or just through these air spaces in the sides, you know, like right here for instance. So I had to use four pieces of packaging tape on each side to secure this saran wrap to make sure it wouldn't droop down during the day due to the weight of the water condensation. So I think the plastic wrap is doing a fantastic job of raising humidity levels and temperature levels and giving these ginger plants what they need which is high heat and humidity so as you can see here there's more greening of these buds if we move over here this one looks to be doing really well this one has more development although it has sort of a gooey you know something uh, on there well it's actually not gooey it's rigid and this one is kind of weird because uh, it looks like a bud but it's actually sort of hollow inside so I can stick this inside you know it kinda of looks like there's a piece of dirt inside so I can't quite figure out what this is all about and but you know this still looks like it's a developing bud even though it might have been eaten or infested by something long before I uh, even started this experiment likewise I think there's some progress here I think this white bud is busting out and this one as well and finally we have this piece from the large cross-sectional slice of rhizome and it looks to be busting out of some old skin so I think you know for this piece um, you can still have some photosynthesis going on pieces that are eventually going to be discarded so that might be what's going on here as you may remember there are two other rhizome cuttings one's here and one's here and those had no buds on them so I'm still waiting for something to happen okay it's day 23 and yesterday night I put two strips of tape one here one here and two long strips of tape one here one here so there's plenty of gaseous exchange going on here and here but I figured this was probably a pretty good conf configuration for uh, getting the tape off and just trying to tape it back on later So I think this strategy of plastic wrap on top to increase the humidity and create a miniature greenhouse effect is working really well. So here's an example of something that's doing really well that wasn't like this at all before. And that's not mold, you know, it's actually a fuzzy root. So I think ginger has these uh, root hairs. Uh, kind of really well protected roots to prevent insects from chewing on them this is the central piece the one that was doing the best and you know to some degree it still is I mean this is the most well developed uh, shoot apical meristem shoot system and this was the first one I saw to have uh, root meristems creating roots and going down to the soil or trying to look for it at the time that was before I transplanted everything into the soil 
So that bud in the middle, it's a late bloomer, but I'm sure it'll get going at some point. Not too sure what will happen with this. I remember there was also a small bud that's probably buried under the soil uh, attached to this. And here's another piece that's kind of just going along slowly. It's uh, photosynthesizing. Uh, these two buds are coming along very, very slowly, but nothing seems to be wrong. I'm sure they'll be on their way to photosynthesizing, turning green soon, and generating two plants from this. So everything seems to be going well. I'm sure growth would have been a lot faster if I had taken an entire intact ginger rhizome from the supermarket and just planted it in the soil. That's kind of the lazy way out. I'm basically doing an experiment. I'm doing a demo on, you know, can you grow ginger plants from tiny rhizome cuttings? You know, six small cuttings from, you know, half of a root essentially, or just a fraction of it. So ginger is obviously a very, very slow growing plant, at least if you take it from uh, small rhizome cuttings. And also, if you look at my honeydew growing series, um, pretty soon I'll be posting an update, but there has been a huge infestation of white flies and other bugs. So I sprayed some insecticide. I don't know if this soil is infected, but there probably aren't, there's probably just not that much for bugs to feed on at this point and maybe they're just not interested in ginger. But if I see bugs I'll have to apply pesticides. Okay it's day 25 of my ginger germination experiment. We're gonna start with a rhizome cutting in the middle. This was the very first bud to germinate or at least it seemed that way to be the most developed one and it's basically a green cone like bamboo. Um, it's very promising and these two buds belong to the same rhizome cutting too but they're kind of troubling because the middle one this one hasn't started photosynthesizing yet and this other one towards the bottom now if we look at it from another angle it has this kind of black rot and the cone appears to be hollow so i don't really know what's going to happen to this i mean it looks like something that's rotting but it has these two roots coming out and going into the soil and probably some more that we're not seeing because they would be in a lower position and subterranean so i think you know this is coming along i'll be interested i think it's going to develop i don't think it's going to die uh, whatever that rod is in the middle i think it's just confined to there i guess if we go relative to the water hole uh this would be at the sort of 5:30, you know basically six o'clock position with six o'clock being the water hole of this plant spa. So basically these buds are somewhat green. Uh, this is a very slow poke case of development, but you know, I see nothing wrong. I see no reason why these shouldn't develop very nicely later on. This is at the 730 position relative to the water hole. Um, if the water hole is facing my chest. Anyway, you can see it's developing the second best this was an entire rhizome cutting from the very bottom of the entire rhizome of ginger. So this has a long thin slice. It's a big cross section and it just happened to have a bud at the side as I've talked about a few times and spin this around. So basically you can see these fuzzy hairs um, all over. That's not mold. That's I think just the way this plant grows, uh, which is a relief because I hate mold. And this is a root, so there are probably other roots buried on the other side that we can't see. And basically I think ginger is very well equipped to handle humid hot conditions which I've created. So I think this will do very well. And if you go to the one o'clock position you see two green buds. They're doing a lot better than the one at the you know 530 position so this was another small piece of a rhizome cutting more towards the top so this is what I'm talking about this is the center that's the uh, very last one I just filmed you know 12 o'clock this is sort of let's just say 5 o'clock and this is you know about 730 position right here so at the you know 1030 position 
uh, and the 230 position there's about two rhizome cuttings um, that were from the bottom and they don't they didn't have a readily apparent bud on anywhere on the skin of the rhizome so basically I don't know if something's gonna happen I was hoping it would but it looks like ginger is a very very slow grower so I believe having the plastic wrap on all day is the correct move because this plant was evolved to tolerate jungle growth conditions and you know it probably gets to up to nearly 100% humidity in its native lands